What's up guys, hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we're going to talk about best landing spots on Storm Point in Apex Legends Rank Season 14. Apex Legends Season 14 Ranked Second Divisions takes players all the way to Storm Point. The fourth Battle Royale map for Apex Legends has been added with the release of Season 11 Escape. Home to some of the most fearsome beasts in the Titanfall universe, Storm Point is the largest map in Apex Legends as of Season 14 and is made up of several points of interest with high-level loot that could take you one step closer to becoming the Apex Champion. Ranking breakdown in Apex requires more than good loot and legends, but also proper positioning and map knowledge to make the most of each situation. With over 15 unique and challenging POIs, the latest being Season 13's Beast Down, Storm Point is the ultimate survival challenge. From deadly marauders huddled underground to spider egg infestations across the map, players need to watch out for more than just enemy squads when they land at Storm Point. That said, here are the 5 best Storm Point landing spots for the second divisions of rank Season 14. So, without any further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our channel. Number 5. Down Bees The latest POI added with Apex Legends Season 13 Saviors, Down Bees is the result of Legends' epic battle against a giant sea alien that was shown in the Season 13 launch trailer. At top tier loot locations, Down Bees' POI consists of the corpse of the defeated sea alien that is excavated and now consists of a small ramps and man-made floors. With loot mostly on the ground, players can even find gold rarity items and accessories. In addition, the place also contains small buildings and supply containers in its vicinity. Number 4. Checkpoint One of Storm Point's hottest regions, Checkpoint is a place that players often leave in an attempt to rack up a lot of kill points. It consists of multiple small interconnected buildings with narrow pathways and multiple supply containers scattered across this tall man-made structure suspended above a forest. Checkpoint offers plenty of combat opportunities whether you're on top of the structure or jumping into the woods to fight through foliage and trees. Players need to be very careful during firefights as other teams are more likely to come down for loots and take advantage of the ongoing battle. Number 3. Shipfall Featuring an IMC ship that crashed into Storm Point during the Titanfall Frontier War, Shipfall consists of the broken remains of the warship and is located in the southernmost corner of the map. What's great about this POI is the decent amount of loot found at the bottom of the ship with the long tunnel leading to the local Storm Point buildings with loot, which sometimes also comes with a, with a replicator. Additionally, further south is a raider's nest, which allows squads to obtain the necessary weapon accessories and materials. Number 2. Launchpad While Launchpad may not be the most popular location, it is often challenged by multiple teams as it is one of the most lootable locations on the map. Located in the southeastern region, it consists of three divergent paths, each containing multiple containers of supplies and loot on the ground. The hub locations consist of a two-story building that hosts some decent loot and also houses crafting materials and occasionally replicators. This is where most of the combat take place providing vertical zipline firefights. 1. Thunder Watch In spot number 1 is Thunder Watch, which is located in the northeastern quadrant of the map between Stormcatcher and Lightning Rod. While this location isn't as famous as Barometer or abandoned as the Mills, Thunder Watch is one of the safest places to land in Apex Legends. What makes it a great landing spot is that it provides enough loot for the entire squad and is even a top tier position. This self-contained building offers hand-to-hand -hand combat and is attached to a gravity cannon that draws players towards the storm catcher. This helps them ambush enemies as the location is often contested by multiple teams. In addition, a prowler nest located to the north which players can destroy to obtain the necessary accessories and loot for weapons. Thunder Watch even houses crafting materials and replicators allowing you to craft high-level items and upgrade armor. Tell us in the comment section below your view on this topic. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you like watching our content, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.